everyone, it's Farkad here. In this video, I plan on building a balcony off here or a veranda, and I'm going to do a bit of cleaning up as well. Now, as usual, I'm going to be using a custom foundation as a guide. I don't really want to place a custom foundation in the water. I want it to look as clean as possible. I'm going to go for a nice rectangle shape, I think. Yeah, that looks good. I shouldn't be doing this in the dark, though it does make the blueprints easier to see. It's so hard working in the water, eh? <laughs> okay, I slept. It's morning now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use rock pillars for this one. And it is a nightmare doing things in shallow water. So what I'm going to do to speed it up, I'm going to use like a two placement. And then extend it across and go for another two. And then it will be automatic placement for both. Once I finish it off, of course. It is so hard to do this, you have no idea. <laughs> I'm already regretting my decision. Uh, and I probably haven't placed it right in the middle. I will see. Cancel those middle section bits, I don't need them. Oh, I only did one, how'd that happen? It's usually supposed to do two. I didn't even know you could get one when you do on a placement like this. Though that's an easy fix. I will just place two on there. And fix that right up. And there we go. So it's like three. And that way I've got a bit more leeway if it doesn't exactly match up. And I'm going to do the other side, because there's only two on this one. Oh, this was a bit of a nightmare, this one. I was just working in shallow water. You, every time you stick your head down to look, <laughs> the game wants to bring you back above the water. So it makes it very difficult to do such things like this. Low, it is doable. So now I'm just going to be placing automatic placement on these. I'll have to do a few on each one because it didn't go exactly to plan, but I'll make do. And just keep building it up. And cancelling the middle sections. I'm just going to go out and collect the rocks and finish it off. Okay, that's high enough. Well, it should be. There's a little bit of a gap and I can't really do much about it. Yeah, it looks shorter on the right side than the left side, but... Mm. I'm going to do it from the custom foundation instead of the rock pillars. Because then it will be even level. If I do it from the rock pillars, it will probably be uneven. And I'll get a lip, and I don't want a lip. I swear to God, I hate lips so much in this game. You can't walk over them. It stops you dead. You have to jump. That's attaching well. That looks good. It's straight. All right, sweet. It's not uneven. I can cancel the custom foundation. And I can start building this. I hate that gap that's there. That's that's bothering me. But I wonder... Yeah, I know how I can fix it. I can just put some rock, more rock pillars above it. And then I can use it to attach a roof on the end. Alright, last... <laughs> oh, where'd it go? There you are. Oh god, this is a nightmare. <laughs> oh, there's no win for me. There we go. Oh, that was annoying. But it's all done now. Jump. Yeah. Looks good, and I'm not getting caught on it. Don't know what I'm going to put out here yet, but I've got to finish these rock pillars first. And then I can decide. There we go, the last one's done. Might put... Hmm... I might go... Okay, I need to do a roof, but... Uh, I'm over this, this was really tedious. And I've got to finish the roofs inside. I might do this later. What I might try and do is place a fence. The stick fence looks crap though, so I'm going to go and do a bone fence. Custom. 
It's weird that bone fences do this. That will look a lot better. It will use more bones doing it this way, but I think it will give it a better look and I'll easily be able to get the bones since they keep spawning in my base. <laughs> okay, and then the same on this side, trunk of everything, so there's this silly lip here. Hmm, I don't know if there's anything I can do about that. I'll try again. There we go, good enough. I don't need these anymore. Don't need that. Still watering it, but don't need them. And that. And this. Oh, two hits. God, strength increases your damage you can do against structures, that's for sure. Now, I want to... Don't need that either. What I want to do is move my catapults inside. But I've been working on an idea for how I can store them and make them still look all right in the base. Yeah, that's good alignment. How's that? Oh, come on. Perfectly too wide across. Just make an extension, nothing special. How's that look? As a lip, uh, not really, no. Yep, that's what I want. So time to complete that. It's only 29 logs, which is good. Something interesting I've noticed is I can be getting attacked or whatever and chaos will be ensuing. If I save and exit, the cannibals don't come back for like three days, four days. I don't see them for ages. Okay. That is done. I'll place a wall around here. I'm going to seal it up at the ends here. That's going to need a single log placement. So will that one. Oh, what? Disappeared. And so, uh, it just keeps disappearing. There we go. Okay, I'm just thinking about the best way to do this. So I'm going to place the catapults along like that. And the exact same thing on the other side. I'm going to be using these as storage. Okay, now this is going to be really, really hard. But I'm going to succeed with this. No matter the cost. Okay, just going to put it a little bit behind or away from the wall. Oh man, this is hard. It's hard to explain what I'm trying to do. But I don't need these parts here. Alright. Let's see what happens after completing one section. I'll put a roof down. Okay. I'm not sure if you can tell what I'm trying to do. But the problem with catapults is that they work as great as storage, but they look like crap if you're using them as storage. So what I'm doing is this roof is going to cover the the catapult part the launching part i'm just gonna i'm just gonna clear all the way down here 
and it will just look like storage and I won't have to deal with uh, having catapult look in my base. I don't know if I should complete the rest of the rock walls. I'm probably not going to because I shall see if I can cancel them. That was a pain in the ass today. Uh, I'm going to say first. I'll get back to that shortly. I'm just not really interested in doing that right now. Um, in a cleaning up mood, if that makes sense to anyone. So cancel that. Because then the roof looks like it's still connected to the wall. And that's what matters. I'm just using the rocks as a means to build the, the roof. But I don't want to keep building too much. Because if you build too much, then the game has too many assets. And yeah, your base is going to chunk. So I'm just going to deal with that little wall section there. And build this roof. It's 40 logs, man. Okay, there we go. The roof is done. Oh, they're just covered. But this is... I'm going to save before I do this again. Because if I stuff it up, I can just reload. Because I'm going to be cutting. And I'm not completing the catapults yet. Because I don't want to cut them. Okay, so I've saved. And I'm going to be cutting this now. Now, this is going to be hard. So I don't want to have to move. You always stuff this up. You just go back into the uh, main menu and you type in wood paste and that regrows a lot of things, but that's all of them. How many cuts can I take? There's a lot. Even though the catapults aren't exactly... God, that looks terrible there. They're stuck in the middle. I wonder if I could replace the catapult. It might go chaotic because I've already placed the thing there. Yeah, I could replace them, which I might do. Um, I can't place the other ends, but I'm starting to think this is enough. Place a roof over it. Gotta be quick, because it's got cold damage. No, not that one. This one. Yeah, sweet. Also, if you want, you can store tennis balls and small rocks in here, if you're interested. Kind of edgy you would be. There we go. Leave it with me, I'm going to go get all the resources for these ones, and I'll be back. There we go. Multi-purpose storage room. And they don't look like catapults either. Which is the look I really want. Um, I thought about it, and what you could do, if you wanted that extra look, is put sticks, stick fence along here. If it will work. Oh, it would, but it'll be tedious. Yeah, I can't be stuffed. Should have done it beforehand, but yeah. That doesn't even look like you can... you got catapults in here. And catapults can store just about every item in the game. And the main thing I want to store in it is... Skulls and animal heads. Are they good for... When you can't be stuffed. <laughs> so I'm going to grab everything I can out of my catapults. Oh, that's an interesting look. And it looks like I can't grab the stuff out of my catapult for some reason. Hmm. Better go grab them. I just got injured by something then. So yes, don't load them into the catapult. I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, probably because I never actually do it. But they're out and it's safe. And I could start getting rid of some of these things. Because the worst thing is, is skull hunting. Oh, I hate it. Now I'm grabbing three at a time and dropping three at a time. is because it keeps the skull in my hand. I don't have to go into my inventory each time. It's a pain in the ass. There you go. If I put your meat in there, it makes it go off. 
I wasn't aware of that. Now, there is skulls here, and we can't get them out unless we catapult them. So it might be a good idea to load it up with crap that you don't want. And that one doesn't have any. You can store rocks and sticks and all that, but they're not... It's not worth it. This one doesn't have any either. Let's start clearing these catapults. And the last thing I have to do is clear those weapon racks. I wonder if you lose your items if they're still in there and you take it down. Curious. God, I've got a lot of skulls. And I've got more, but they're just far away. There's a whole catapult full over here. Jesus. Let go. Fuck. Okay, I grabbed everything out of that one. And there's skulls in it. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, the items disappear. So don't lose your catapult items. If I lost all my animal heads, be shit. <laughs> I would be most angry. I have almost used all my logs again. You can blame me when I build expensive stuff like this. This does look cool. You could fit heaps more in here. But I shouldn't have made it as long, but I don't really care. I'm happy with that. I haven't really done anything like that before. I actually haven't done that before. Guessed it would work, and it worked out. Now, I don't know where to put all these wall trophies, so I'm just going to put them out here. And hopefully this wall doesn't get knocked down. See how that looks. And it's just a matter of putting all the other ones up there. Put them up through the wall. Realism. I need to place more wall weapon racks here. I have so many clubs. Okay, all the clubs are up. I can now destroy these weapon racks. Which is great because they're blocking my route for building a staircase just there. Tennis rackets. And I can destroy these. Done. That's a clean up. I'm storing the tennis rackets in my room. I'm not sure why. I just don't know what I'm going to put them yet. It's the last of the weapon racks. This one I built down here. Yeah, there's a fire there. Destroy that too. And that's my wall weapon rack. <laughs> God, I got a lot. I think they make good trophies because the only way you can get them is from killing leader cannibals. It's a shame I can't show the enemy all my trophies. In the next episode, I'm going to be focusing on bringing the walls in. I'm going to start clearing all the other walls. It's going to take forever, but they keep spawning in my base and there's nothing I can do about it. But my advice, don't build here. <laughs> if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.